right, let's get Lisa on here. Uh, Lisa had a great date with a former high school sweetheart. She thought it went fantastic, and she has no idea why dude hasn't called her back and has ghosted her. Hey, Lisa. Hey, how are you? Good. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Thank you so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. Sure, all right. Well, I will assure you that we have answers for you that we will give you here in a couple of minutes. But um, give us the history of this dude. How long ago was it? Your relationship back in the day. And then how you found each other now. And then tell us about the date. Yeah, so um, we dated in high school for like 10 months, which is like super long for a high school relationship. Um, But like we were each other's like first kisses and everything. Um, And I was, I don't know, his name is Mark and he was wonderful. He was like a just fun high school boyfriend. Um, And so, so he, we were like DMing or no, he DMed me on through my Instagram and like he emailed and he was, or DM'd, I don't know what the kids are calling it these days, <laughs> but, um, he told me like he'd been thinking of me a lot and wondering how I had been. And he said like, he was like really nervous to message me. Um, cause it had been so, so long. Um, so we chatted like via the Insta messaging and stuff. And he asked if I wanted to meet up for a drink. Um, so we did, we made plans, um, like a couple nights later, I think, and just really hit it off. Like it was like no time had passed at all. And, uh, like I, I had a great time. I thought he did too. And I don't know, I felt like there was that chemistry from like, just like that puppy love from high school, you know? And, um, but I like, I don't know, then I ended up getting this emergency text from work about this project that I'm working on and it had to be like handled by the start of the next business day. And I had to leave. Like it was super abrupt. But and I was like, Oh my God, Mark, I'm so sorry. Um, and like, I'll make this up to you. We'll do this again. I promise. Um, so I, I sent him a text and like apologized and again and asked if like we could meet up that same weekend and I could buy him a drink. And, you know, I just, I felt really bad because he had, I don't know. It sounded like he was nervous when he was like DMing me and asking me to like get back together. So I didn't want him to think that I was blowing him off or it was like this fake text or anything. Um, and so we made plans for the next weekend to meet up for a drink. And then like now I haven't heard from him at all. So we made the original plan, but all my follow-up texts aren't going through and Mm -hmm. I don't understand why. So you haven't even like met in person or gone on a date. No, no, no. So we did go on a, a first, we, we went on a first oh, date. Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we went on a very first date and we got like dinner and drinks and it was very nice. It was casual. Like it was, we were catching up, but like we talked about dating in high school. Like, I don't know. It was, it was fun and flirty. And mm. so then, I, yeah, so I got the text, I had to leave. And then mm. this would essentially be like my second date with him is what I was trying to like set up since I had to leave early. Yeah. So what I was thinking here was like, maybe he was feeling all insecure about you, like just taking off in the middle of a date. Maybe he thought that you weren't having a great time and that was your sort of escape plan right there. So he's like, ah, screw this. But then you had the follow-up texts, which should have Mm -hmm. alleviated his insecurity. So I'm not exactly sure where that leaves us. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I was thinking the same exact thing because I'm pretty as a guy, you definitely would read that as you you wanted to leave early and you know it wasn't a real emergency. But once you took that away from him, the only thing that would make me feel like he would just ignore it is if he for whatever reason just wasn't interested and saw that as his out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you see all the movies, and that's like the telltale sign of how a girl's on into a date. It's yep. like the the phone call or the text uh-huh. and the made up excuse, and you know you can bail. So maybe he got that caught up in his head, and he just refuses to believe otherwise. Yeah. Or maybe that had nothing to do with it at all. You know, like I think sometimes you have all those feelings from back in high school, and then when you see people 10, 15, 20 years later, and you know, obviously you're a different person. He's a different person. So maybe that was just his out. He just wasn't feeling it, maybe. Yeah, but then why would he say, yes, let's meet up? Like, I look the same as I do in all of my pictures on Instagram, right? So, like, I wasn't, like, catfishing him or anything. And, like, he he reached out to me. So I just, I don't know. I'm super confused. I would love if you guys could help me out. 
Yeah, I mean, and I mean, I don't want I don't want this to sound harsh, but you ha- people struggle with expectations mm-hmm. and maybe just didn't live up to the hype. Mm-hmm. I'll say the same thing yeah. we always do here uh, when we're doing a uh, second date update or whatever. Why does it matter? I mean, the guys in your mm-hmm. past, you went out with one date with the dude and for whatever, he's showing you exactly how he feels because if dude wanted to be with you, he would have texted you. So, but now I want to know why. Right. Got to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you really need to know, we got answers for you. Okay. So just hang out a couple of minutes. And when we come back, Tommy, our studio director, if he is talking, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we promise he wasn't going to for the rest of the week. Um, we'll tell you exactly what happened. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. First show, second date update next. The Burt Show. Yeah, we got bonus content for you guys, stuff you don't hear on the radio. Just check out thebirdshow.com slash bonus BS. Today or this week, man, we just really crap on this list of things that you should do in your 20s. Check it out, birdshow.com slash bonus BS. All right, let's get Lisa back on here, Kristen. She just needs to know. Yeah, she um, got hit up by a guy she dated in high school. And all those fluttery feelings came back and they both agreed to go out and go for a date and meet up. And the date went, was seemed like she said, going really, really well. But she ended up having an emergency and had to leave the date early. So he seemed to understand they were going to meet up again. But now her text messages and everything she's done to reach out to him has gone unanswered. And she's trying to figure out, okay, I followed up. It was a legit reason why I had to bail on the date. But now I don't understand why he's not reaching, why he's not responding, especially when he was the one that initiated everything. He was the one that reached out to me. He was the one that said he had been thinking about me. And why now all of a sudden he's just ghosted. And the only thing we could think of is because she had to leave midway through that date that he thought that she was making an excuse, maybe got all up in his head about it. And then when she follows up with a text, he's like, oh, she's just, uh, who knows? Who or they didn't live up to the hype. Or, or That's that. What I'm thinking. Or that. All right, Lisa, are you ready for the reason why he has ghosted you? Yes. All right, our studio director, Tommy, uh, has been, have you been emailing with this dude or texting with this guy? Emailed back and forth. Okay, what happened? A couple times. All right, so I reached out to Mark via email and explained second date update, and I asked him if he'd be willing to be honest with us about his date with Lisa and why she hasn't heard from him. And I explained that Lisa was wondering if she had done something or if he was angry or annoyed that she had to leave early. And this was his response. He said, hi, Tommy. Sure, I had a good time with Lisa. This email is odd. You said this segment's called Second Date Update. I guess the issue here is a misunderstanding. We were not on a date, at least not in my mind. What? Did he clarify that? Yes. He says, yes, I looked her up and I sent her a DM, but it wasn't because I was interested in dating her. I've been getting in touch with a lot of people from college, high school, and even earlier than that. Not sure why. I guess I ended up hanging out with some old friends and started feeling nostalgic. Then I kind of went down a rabbit hole and decided to reach out and meet up with a bunch of people. That sounds like alcohol and social media. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm sorry I haven't gotten back in touch with her, but I've been busy and didn't really see the urgency. Did he say any of that to you while you guys are out? It's like I've reached out to a whole bunch of different people where you would draw the conclusion that, okay, I'm just one of many that he's just reconnecting with. No, it it was like... Like, I've missed you. I'm really excited that, like, we've been, we're able to catch up after all this time. You look great. You're just like, I remember. Mm. Like, I'm so confused. And I also feel like an idiot at the same time. Well, no, don't feel like an idiot. But when you say those things, those things could be taken two different ways. Like, one could be taken romantically and the other could be taken friendly. Like, wow, you look great. You look just the same. Wow, you look great. You look just the same. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's all, right. All, right, let's, it's all right, so we had a couple more back and forth. So I said, well, that definitely clears up the misunderstanding. I said, so would it be safe to say that you wouldn't have any interest in meeting up with her now that you know she was interested in hanging out for reasons beyond reminiscing? And he said, like I said, I'm not interested in her like that. Just wanted to grab a drink and catch up with an old friend. Hmm. And I said, got it. Thanks for letting me know. 
I'll pass it on. <laughs> no, you look like you just um, ate the worm in the tequila. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's, what's up? It's, that is a bit odd for me. Like, I don't think, I certainly don't think you should feel like an idiot. I think most people would um, draw the conclusion that mm -hmm. if someone reaches out to you out of nowhere all those years and wants to go grab drinks with you, that it's out of possibly being interested in a date. So if he didn't clarify that it wasn't a date, mm -hmm. I can completely understand why she would be confused by this. Is it, yeah. is it, <sighs> I hate this. Is it possible that if things went well, it would have gone in a different direction for him, and he's using this as an excuse because he just wasn't feeling the connection that Lisa was feeling? No, I think what he said is... Yeah, yeah, because... I think it is what it is. Okay. If that was the case, he had the perfect excuse. Yeah. It's not like he had to come up with something. All right. So it's a, you know, just a miscommunication. Don't, yeah. feel, don't feel foolish about no. it. Not at all. Um, yeah, it was just a miscommunication. Two different intents here, and that's all. All right, you can just move on. Nothing to see here. Mm -mm. All right. I mean, it's well, not like, I, at least I know, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And it's not like anybody else knows all this went on. So yeah, nothing to be embarrassed about at all. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, God, I hate dating. Or I guess not dating. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. You're still not dating, so you get, so you, it's all good. Yeah. It's all good. Uh, that was funny. <laughs> all right, Lisa. Thanks, guys. Okay. Appreciate you. Bye-bye. Hey, see ya. That was a bummer. <laughs> it was, man. It was, I, just it was just a little miscommunication. Okay, let's go with that. Yeah. I have just a feeling that he was like reaching out because it sounded to me like the wording that he was used, he was interested. He gets on that date and then does a U-turn. But that's the wording she remembers. Right. Yeah. That, that may not have been there. exactly what he had used. The Burt Show. Like what you just watched? Well, you can get a lot more of The Burt Show for free on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts.